We are rolling. I think we're good. What's up, boys? What's up, video? Um, back with another podcast. Um, we got Jack here. We got Will here. I'll let them introduce themselves real quick. Like you said, name is Jack. Jack Foster. Nice to meet you guys. We're rolling with two cameras today. <laughs> what up, guys? I'm Will. It's good to meet you all. Um... I don't know where this is going to go, but hopefully it's going to go well. I think it will go pretty well. I don't know about you guys. But yeah, we got we got a bit to talk about today, um, and we're just going to share a conversation with you guys. Hopefully you guys can take something from this, um, just as we are trying to take something from each other's brain. Some uh, some big some, news some on knowledge. this podcast. Some big news oh, coming. We got some big news indeed. The big news? Big news. Do you, you want to start wanna, with it? You want to start with that? I guess we're starting with the big news. All the, right. uh, Let her rip. Hawaii trip. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> How long are we going to Hawaii for, Jack? We are going for a whole ass, oh, whole month. Sorry for the, the prof- profanity. Fuck the profanity, <laughs> bro. <laughs> whole ass month in Hawaii. Yeah. I'm, oh. a, I'm excited. It's I'm a little nervous. I've never... Uh, Dude, honestly, I consider Hawaii a, a, a different country. Oh yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying. I mean, I get it. I get it's, it's the it. United States, but it's, like, it's not close. No, basically yeah. like Indonesia. You think swear, it, yeah. swear. Yeah, yeah, I can see that for sure. But yeah, it's, I mean, so why are you nervous? Just uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm too. It's, it's just something new. You it's know, a big step. Just moving out to Hawaii for a month. You know, we, you know, just. We're mainlander boys, you know. Mainlander boys. We're, we're not. not we're boys. not. We're not meant to be there, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, dude, I'm excited because if I don't have a job and I'm just sitting my ass at home, at Hawaii, like it's just gonna be you're exploring Hawaii, doing literally whatever you want, I going agree. wherever you want. It'll be sweet. I, I don't think, think we're gonna really get bored cool. there at all. Oh, there's no shot. Dude, no way. <laughs> if you get bored, you go surfing. Yeah, you exactly. know what I'm saying. <laughs> we gotta get sweet at surfing too. No, we for real, for real. Um. I mean, like, we're going, what, clip jumping, surfing, hiking, all of it. So you two have never been to Hawaii? Nah. I'm pretty sure I've been when I'm three years old, but I don't count that. I wouldn't count that Because I don't even remember it. Yeah. But uh, it's going to be a whole new experience. What I mean, island did you go to again? I went to Maui. So oh, is that, that's the, that's the one next to us. Is that, that is that next to us? Yeah. The one that's left? To the right. To the right. So it's smaller, right? Bigger. Um, bigger? About the same. About the same. Yeah, yeah, but the one we're going to is definitely more built up than the one I went to for sure. But uh, I'm excited to see uh, what the difference is. You know, um, when I was flying into Maui, I was looking out of the the plane window and I didn't expect how much agriculture was there. You know, I was, like a lot of farming. You're yeah, so much farming. You know, I was expecting all jungle. You know. I was expecting something like off National Geographic, you know. <laughs> yeah, true that. But uh, it, there was a lot of farm, really? a lot of farm. You know, the only, what I learned is that there's two sides to the island. There's a dry side and a wet side, and people live on the dry side, and people don't usually live on the wet side. And so, I don't know if you guys heard of it, but the road to Hana, you ever hear about that? Sounds familiar. So, it's basically like. I don't don't quote me on how long it is, but it's fairly short, like length. Dude, it's like the the tail of the dragon, basically windy ass roads. But instead of there being two lanes, it's one lane and people are constantly going in and out. And so it seriously takes you like three hours to get to the top of the mountain. But once you're there, you have the black sand beaches from the volcano. You have waterfalls up the ass. So many waterfalls. It's beautiful. You got something called the seven. Uh seven lakes or something seven something and uh it's just a bunch of pools that waterfall into each other and everybody goes and swims in them it's it's a vibe that's on maui or Oahu? on maui uh-huh. i've never been to oahu so i didn't uh i i haven't like researched it at okay. all i so. wish i wish we went some, or we're like going to maui but we can Airbnbs, dude no that's what i'm that's saying the oh, no, yeah, take yeah. Some, some weekend trips out there like live there for a month though the rent was insane how much for like a studio for like one like two people one bedroom yeah we're looking at like it was like 7k really yeah it was stupid but out of budget just some broke college students right now 
hey, we get what we can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. no, that's actually so sweet, though. Like, yeah. we're in college, and we're moving there for, like, part of the summer. I swear. We got to... Maybe next summer, we'll run it back to, like, some crazy place. I'm telling you, when you guys go, you won't want to go back. Like, I'm telling you. Oh, I'm sure. It's yeah, so beautiful. Believe to the, the viewers, we got a pretty pretty good Airbnb. Uh-huh. There's six of us going right now, and it's a little, little duplex apartment style, but it's... uh. Not in the city, but it's not in the country. It's kind of right in the middle, and we got. It's in the mountains, almost right. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. Do um, we have a nice view? We walk yeah, out our front yeah, door, yeah. and there's just a mountain in front of us. Really? Yeah, it's about to be sweet. And then it's gonna be so cool. From our balcony, <laughs> we can see the ocean and the city. Ooh, damn! It's gonna be nice. That is exciting. Yeah, I there's really... hiking like right outside. Of oh yeah, down the street or something. Literally, literally hit some hikes. Up the street, the probably half a mile. There's a hike. Any waterfalls? You know. Um, I don't know about close by or close by for sure, but I don't know like right out our front. We're gonna car. have to get some mopeds or something. We're buying a car. Yeah. So all right. So the or plan is we're gonna get down there, and you know we need some means of transportation. So we're planning on getting like an island beater, such as like a jeep or maybe an old pickup truck. We're looking for like a Wrangler to transport. Take the top off. Take the doors yeah. off. Strap down the uh, the surfboards up top. Hell yeah. <clears throat> and then grab a couple mopeds too. If we got like two or three mopeds. We'll just be mobbing the streets with two of us on each one. I swear. That'd be sweet. I'm going to try to bring my uh, electric skateboard. Yeah. So, Dude, oh, I was going to say, that's not a bad idea to look into. Because even, like, that would be even cheaper than a moped, you know, and that would still get us around. Like, even, like, just downtown areas. Because what what's the range on it? 20 miles, 20, you say? 25 miles, something like that. You that's bring a backpack, you put the charger in there, you go out to eat, you charge up. I feel like the problem with that is, like, a, I feel like a moped... You know, you can't. You can only start it with a key. Oh, you, you got the, the remote. Okay. You okay. take a remote with you. Nobody's taking your shit. Mm-hmm. So, that's true. I mean, that's what I do here. You saying the skateboard? No one's taking. Yeah, it? I feel like yeah. I feel like a skateboard would almost be more of a hassle. I mean. Yeah, but like, cheaper. Again, we're broke. We yeah. we don't have luxuries, bro. <laughs> Come on, no. That's true. That's true. But I don't know. We could figure it out. I mean, I will we get both. You know what I'm saying? We could get both. We're planning on selling the the Jeep and the mopeds. We'll have them for like three weeks on the list at like the last week we're there, and just sell them before we leave. And so hear me out, dude. What happens if you buy the car right? Let's let's say you buy it for five grand, and then like you have a week left, nobody's willing to pay five grand for it. What's what's the move? Okay, so I was thinking about that. One, I got I got a couple options. One, bring it to a dealership. I'm assuming there's dealerships in Hawaii, right? Yeah, there, there is. There Bring is. it to a dealership. If it came down to it, you could take a loss on it. It is what it is. I mean, it got you around. You're probably saving money regardless. Sure. Compared to, like, a rental. Right. Um, so, option A, sell it super cheap. Option B, stay in Hawaii. Live out of your car for, like, a couple of days until you sell it. And, like, get a refund on your ticket. Or get a, what do you call it? Credit. And okay. then right when you sell it, then just hop on the next plane or whatever. I mean, I wouldn't mind living in a Jeep. For you got balls, bro. I'm not going to lie. I mean, what else are you going to do? Or, or option or, three, depending on the car we get, we could uh, transport it back to the mainland, like California, for like a grand or two, maybe. 1500 So, yeah, if there's like some money to be made on it and it's worth it, I don't know. That's an option, too. Because I was looking. They got some cool Jeeps, like some vibey-ass Jeeps, you know? But we also got to remember we have six people now. Yeah, so we Six might. people? Yeah. Who? You just get a sprinter, man. Um, us three, Trey, Ryan, and his girlfriend. Okay, bet. Trey will probably buy a car. He's, he's down sure. for whatever. I think I'll buy a car. You'll probably buy Ryan a car. Ryan was talking about um, mopeds. Okay, yeah. He really wants to rock moped. mopeds. For sure. So yeah. we could, we'd be mobbing everywhere we went. Yeah, so I'll be, get a yeah. Jeep and a moped. Like, I'm down. Like, just some beaters, super cheap. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Maybe, who knows? I'll buy a garage rocket. Stop, bro. <laughs> bro. That'd be kind of sick, though. <laughs> no, they got hella of those, oh, bro. Yeah. Not even gonna lie. Just, just like, just cruise around. Mm-hmm. We gotta have one like Jeep or something to like move around surfboards. So that's our yeah, thing. I no agree. Doubt. I agree. We gotta Dude, be moving. Dude, a those. Hilux. Yeah. That'd What's that? It's like the. It's a Japanese. It's a Toyota. It's from Japan and right-hand drive. Really. And they are the most like durable truck on the market really it's like tested like wait is a truck they, it's yeah there's a truck and there's an suv like there's, a, uh, for both yeah of the Hilux? okay 
but they're like the most reliable, durable, they don't break. And they're really sought after, but you can't really find them in the mainland, but there's so many in Hawaii because it's right next to Japan. Sure. So those would just be fun. They're cool cars too. That'd be sick. Is there a lot of right-hand drive cars in Hawaii? I haven't really been looking that much. Just the Hiluxes, to be honest. Uh, really? I, I, mm -hmm. I will see that. That'd be we'll pretty see. sick. Pimping around. That would be sick. That'd be weird, though. Just driving, and then you're like, you look to your right, and you're like, the scenery's right there. I was talking to my buddy Kareem, and he was saying he was driving a manual right hand drive, so everything's the same. No but way. It's just like you're on the right side, but like shifting with his left hand. I wonder how long that weird. takes to get used to. I don't know. Probably, Probably like a, a minute. Day. Yeah. If you're sitting there driving around. Sure, sure, sure. It's all muscle memory. So, yeah, boys, I'm, I'm uh, really excited about that, you know? Uh, it's a whole new journey, and obviously we're gonna vlog and give videos along the way. So it's uh, everybody's gonna be coming with us while we're doing it. So it's exactly. cool stuff, you know. What else you got on there? 